Viola Kyogon's sister-in-law was ailing and rushed to a hospital in Baringo, but died over what the family says was avoidable, negligence, being ill-equipped, ultimately pointing to a failure in leadership at some point. The bereaved is a resident of Baringo County, a businesswoman, and will be a key contributor to the business of the matter before this court. And you've caught to hear this. Susan Chepkoech, who says she was raised and schooled in the Rift Valley, has sub a man of impact. And in fact, he will tell this court how the people's voice is there and what one anti should do. Justice. Court is in nightmares. So many uncharted, so, so many yet. Very, very many, but just some juxtapositions of your situation, Kenya. We would hope to exude the for pray for a miracle, but first, what Kenya to be like? What are your submissions? The state will want to be miss and uh, bring before this court. Here is what we is have yeah. Your Honor, the aspirations of Kenya. Pardon me, we are not in the utopia, Your Honor. We are in Kenya. The Kenya we aspire to grow into the utopia you purport. I bring before this court first hand submissions of Kenyans who say that this country is not the Kenya we want. And I borrow the same format of brief and concise submissions. Because of hunger. Kenya, Kitwa Kwanza. Get services, you have to corrupt your way through. Kira Kitu, you metuma in Chietu, Karudi Yumasana. Wawacha kupereka mradi abai haistahili. Ipereke mradi yenye inastahili diposa mwanainchi wa kawaida aamuke. Everybody is looking for a deal. You just want to connect with people so that you can get a deal. And then finally the, the way people uh, are so tribal, they ask you for your surname and once you mention your surname you see even their body language, their facial expression will change. These are the realities on the ground. Me, your honor invites Ruth Sarmoy to bring here themes of the failures of leaders. Mimi ni Viola Kiyogun. Tulikuwa na mpendo witu ambaye tulipotesa kwa kabarnet referral. It was on July 32 on Saturday. Alikuwa na science ya homa. Tukampeleka usi kabarnet Tukafika Saturday, laini likuwa refu, inakaa kuna madaktari. Tukapanga laini ya mbaka tukaenda kemis, tukanunua dawa. Tukarudi nyumbani. Kufika nyumbani, akakula dawa. Akakaa kidogo, akasidiwa usiku. So tukaona turudishi hospitali ya subui. Juhuyo mama alikuwa na, na, na amekaswa na oma, alikuwa nakaa apumui vizuri. So, aka admitiwa na akaenda kueke wa drip ya maji. So, uyo mama akakaka kidogo, akaansa kushindwa kupumua, akafunga macho, akaansa kushindwa kupumua. Kukaa kidogo, ah, tukaona hiyo drip ni kama inafanya isi baridi. Si, tukatoa hiyo drip. So, asa tukaenda mbaka kwa gate, tukatuma wachi, akaenda na akarudi araka, akasema ajaona. Kutafuta watu kupata, tukarudi. Sasa mimi nikakuja kukaa na huyo mama. Watu wengine wakaenda kuita daktari. Tukakaa like kwanza hiyo sasa ilikuwa kitu kama 5. Mefika 6, 7. Hakuna daktari aliingia. Hakuna kitu aliyekewa, hakuna dawa. Sasa tulikuwa tumebeba kwa ba kile dawa tulinunua on Saturday tarehe 2. Kuna nasa aliingia ule wa KMTC. Akasema daktari atafika 9. So, mkwe tuna hiyo dawa, atakuja kuangalia, kama ata, atapewa ama atafanyiwa nini, lakini atangoja mbaka, nine, alafu waka jiendea. Sasa si tukaona umama, amesidiwa, hameansa kufunga macho, hakaansa ku, kushindo kupumua, haungi. Alafu, hakataka kukoa, hakachokiwa na hiyo kozi. Haka shindo kabisa kupumua, ilikuwa almost eight, hakuna daktari ya jafika, hakuna mtalifanyia first aid. Hakuna 